Hello Scorpio and welcome. This is April from 33 and above and before we get started I wanted to make a few notes. Uh, please know these messages are timeless so regardless of when you watch this video uh, the timing starts now. <laughs> Um, also, these messages are general, so um, if you're interested in booking a private session, the information is below. Also, please check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Okay, Venus is for love. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with you, Scorpio. What is going on with Scorpio? What is going on with Scorpio? We have Queen of Wands, and we have the Four of Cups. Someone is fierce. Whoa, I'm getting a very fierce vibe. Someone knows what they have to offer. Someone is very um, in tune with themselves. You know what you got, and you're willing to flaunt it. You're kicking ass and taking names. <laughs> Someone is passionate about their what they want to do with their career. Someone's I'm getting um, very in, uh, in, uh, intellectual. You think very deeply. You have very deep thoughts about your ideals. You don't want to waste your time with people or with things you measure the value of things before you let it invite it in your energy you're like is, do i want to invest my time in this do i want to invest my time with this person what can you offer me in exchange i'm not just here for your health <laughs> You're someone who's very sure of themselves. You're a free spirit. You're very, um, I'm getting a very sexy vibe. You have a, an aura about you that is uh, sensual. You may find yourself, finding yourself uh, being flirted with. Whether you're a masculine energy or a feminine energy. It's like you notice people's like their eyes land on you longer than they should or there are people who would approach you to get close to you they would do things say things to have a little bit more of your time but you your time is very valuable scorpio you're not someone who just waits around for someone you're not in that energy you're someone who is who likes to go within you look for opportunities and you're waiting you're not waiting but you are not going to miss any opportunity that comes to you because you have your eyes wide open So you're not here to play any games. You're like, what is it? What is it? What's going on? You know, I got to go to school. I got to go to work. I got to make some more money. I got to deal with this, my relationships, my family, my friends, events. You have a schedule. You may find yourself wanting more ships than there are available to come in. We have the full. So you are um, on your way to doors opening. You're going to find yourself. It's like you might. I'm getting a, a vibe of someone who's waiting for an answer from someone. Whether that's a relationship or it's career. Or maybe you apply to something. Could be a school waiting on the decision. It's like you're waiting for something to come. 
and you're 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 scratching your head like do I want this is this something I want to invest my time in is this the right the right route but it is you're gonna find yourself be more confident throughout this phase that you're in because we all have our seasons right good or bad it doesn't matter it's like it's a season a season of 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 um opportunities a season of abundance a season a season of transformation you know everybody has their seasons this is a season of renewal for you you're going to find yourself being feeling renewed about whether you're you're working or whether you're even if you're in a relationship you're going to find new things that you guys are interested in and if you're not in a relationship you're going to find yourself dating more people putting yourself out there maybe it's something you thought about and this is telling you don't be afraid to get out there But you don't want to waste your time either. <laughs> so it's like you got one foot in and the other foot out. You're like, I don't know about that. I don't know if I want to waste my time with people who don't understand my thought process. But you don't know until you try, right? We have someone who needs to make an important decision. Someone who's weighing their options. You're getting rid of something in order to achieve more. We have the page of swords in reverse. Let's see if we can get that close up. Sorry for the dog, a neighbor's dog in the background. So with the page of swords, I'm getting someone is spying on you. Someone is spying, wanting more information, trying to figure out what they can do to gather more information about you and your whereabouts. Now, this is not heavy spying. I'm getting you're going to, you're getting, you're getting clear about this person. You may not know a lot, but there is someone who is, you pique their interest. They like your vibe. We have mature woman and official person. Let me get two more cards. They like your vibe, they like your style. They like what you could possibly be offering. We got main male and we have child. Someone may be a little bit childish though. Someone may not be as grown as you would want them to be. See, there's a, a, a aura about you that is very standoffish. It's like, look, I've been a lot to, I've been, through a lot and I have been many places and I don't have time for foolishness and you got to come to me in this honest demeanor and this her face is like yeah I'm not gonna take the BS I'm not that type of woman or man, you could be in a um, uh, masculine energy, but have uh, uh, a feminine energy as well. But you're like, no, because this is where I'm at. I'm at the queen of wands with the official person. I'm someone that you're just not going to run games with over. And... 
And I, I feel that people know this and it's not like, it's not intimidating. It's not like, oh, no one's going to approach you because you're sure of yourself and you don't, you know, want people running games. It's not like it's very tense. It's more of you're sure of yourself. You're a, a person that knows what they want. And many people can't play games with you. And it's the really good thing because you... You squash a certain group, <laughs> you know, but it may be if you're looking out and you're trying to date, it may be that pool may be getting smaller, you know, so it's saying to be open, you know, uh, there's someone who wants to. There's someone who is, you're very in their mind. Like, they can't get you out of their mind. They're constantly thinking. But it's just, I don't know if it's a match, for, if you consider it a match for yourself. Because I get this Queen of Wands and I get this Page of Swords. It's like, you don't want a page. You're not in that page mood. You're a queen. You're a fiery queen. Could it be an Aries? You have you could have an Aries in your in your chart, but you have this fiery aspect about you that is very like, I I got it, <laughs> I got this. And you're going to see that these new opportunities. These open doors that are coming for you are going to feed into that fiery personality of yours. Things are going to start working in your favor. This is like an auspicious time for people to manifest. So get get your manifestation on. Continue to manifest. While this person, while you're focused on manifesting, this person is focused on you. And it's like they're, they may not be childish, but it's like, if you're interested in me, why do you have to spy? Why can't you just come and approach me or be honest and talk to me? Why do you have to resort to just spying? That's the kind of energy it is. Someone's very curious about how you move. So in the extended, we're going to dive a little bit more into this person, this person of interest and what is going on. All right. Um, if you're interested in booking a session, the information is below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the extended. Bye.